Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio, it's Joe here. Debuting my first attempt at a Market Watch series. So I've been noticing out there that there are many of these around, and primarily they're focused on the US market. But what I wanted to do was bring something a little different to the table and bring a focus on from the European side of things. So uh, I didn't really see anything out there that sort of tickled my fancy, uh, that sort of got my juices going, uh, and sort of addressed how different the market actually is here compared to the US. So I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and launch my own series. If this goes well, it's something that I'm going to do regularly, probably about once a week or so. But hopefully you guys really, really enjoy it. I would love to hear some feedback on what you guys think of the series as a whole. Uh, if you have any tips or anything that you'd like to see done differently, please go ahead and let me know. I guess I should have one other note as well before we get started. Anyone who isn't familiar with my channel, I live in the noisiest fucking house in the world. Uh, we have two dickhead dogs, one who will probably start snoring or licking his bollocks in the middle of this thing. Um, we have a younger lad who lives here. Uh, yeah, just everyone out, out, up and about doing their business. So uh, don't be surprised if you hear weird noise in the background. I also have some crazy loud fridge, which is like right behind the camera right now. Uh, so hopefully none of that interferes too much with the video. But we'll get stuck into the market watch. Okay, so the first card that we're going to take a look at for this copy of market watch. And bear in mind we are working in euros here rather than US dollars or Great British pounds because... Well, it's more widely used, and it's very, very easy to translate into Great British Pounds. For those of you who are based in the UK, we already know how that works. But for US customers, it's probably, again, a little bit easier to sort of make that conversion from US uh, into Euros and back again, just to sort of make comparisons to your own markets and that kind of thing. But first, I wanted to look at Striker Dragon because it is interesting how much this is picking up at the moment. Uh, we've seen a little bit of success of Dragon Link more recently. Uh, this is obviously incorporated into that, and of course, we're getting one or two cards that will probably support the development development of this deck as a whole we have seen ib go so in some sense it's lost a little bit of ceiling but it's probably gained an awful lot of consistency and its main issue before was never really the fact that it you know was making whatever boards it was the fact that uh, it lacked that consistency and you were forced to play cards like call by the grave and stuff like that to see your plays through whereas what's going on now is of course allowing you to just continue to play and kind of hope for the best but it's certainly more consistent than it was. So as a result, we're starting to see a little bit of a hike in the price of Striker Dragon. I mean, if you go back to the middle of February, it's like four, four euros. I mean, this is fucking cheap. Uh, but all of a sudden, we're seeing a spike, maybe probably in the last sort of couple of weeks or so, actually. Uh, interesting, right the way up uh, and to around the 16 euro mark. Uh, it's currently sat at about 15 euros, but it's sort of yo-yo backwards and forwards by about a euro or so, which is kind of normal. Uh, you know price fluctuation I guess at this sort of time but quite a big hike there in the space of two weeks we've gone up by almost 10 euros maybe 11 or even 12 it's actually pretty insane um, quite a big jump maybe one to keep an eye on if you have it maybe now is a good time to sell it as well uh, I don't think it's going to go much higher than it is now but I guess it's not impossible. We don't know what the new Master Rule is going to bring, so things may change as we go on. Uh, next, I wanted to cover some of the Plunder Patrol cards. Now, these are more of a, a kind of a one to watch. Uh, the, the incremental differences in the prices here could actually spell a long-term gain on these. They started quite high, as we know, when the set first came out. Uh, they bombed right the way down. Um, and they've been slowly creeping back up, as you'll see on the charts here. So we're going to start off with Redbeard, uh, just taking a quick look. So, of course, it started off around a €5 Euro mark about a month ago, uh, and then it sort of took a big dip. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing there, zooming out. Anyway, so we've got, we took a big dip right the way down to just under €4, Euros, but we're actually starting to creep right back up towards the six euro mark so this will probably continue to go up i feel like in the new master all this is a deck that is going to benefit hugely from the way the zones are going to work now i think as a result we are going to see this go up i also think that once we get another layer of support because i feel like that's what they're really missing at the moment that this deck is going to take off it's potentially got a lot of potential uh, and it's probably likely to see that reflect in the prices coming up. If you haven't got these already now, it's probably a good time to pick them up. Um, or else you risk that they will spike in the future. Of course, you can take that risk if you've got the maybe something you want to be holding on to a little bit. Just to see how they go down on down the line. 
Next up, we got White Beard again from the Plunder Patrols. Uh, so this is another one. It started off at seven euros. It tanked, uh, much like many of these, uh, and it started to creep all the way back up again. Uh, we're pushing right up to the seven euro mark again, uh, and that's in the space of a month. So it's recovered fully. Uh, it's yo-yoed a little bit along the way, but it's it's starting to get back up there again. Now, bear in mind that I'm not going on eBay prices here, and the reason for that is, is because it just depends on what language you want it in. And I probably wanted to service a little bit more than just you know, the UK for prices. Uh, you can get them cheaper, generally speaking, on card market. The difference is, is what language you're going to get it in, uh, condition, how long you're going to have to wait for it to turn up. So sometimes it's worth taking a hit and spending the extra, you know, incremental amounts of money to get stuff from eBay. That is usually what I do personally. Uh, but if it's something I can wait on, I don't need for a deck, I'll happily wait a couple of weeks for it to turn up from, say, Germany or France or Spain or wherever. Uh, and it's absolutely fine. Another thing to consider, though, is that if you are in Europe at the moment with the coronavirus, and this does tie into a later issue that i'll mention in uh, how this has impacted the market later on it's also going to take a lot longer for your post to turn up from the continent up into the uk and of course and vice versa and probably to be fair between countries on the continent as well those things are going to be slowed down a little bit because postal services are heavily disrupted Next, we move on to another Plunder Patrol card. So we've got Blackbeard next. Uh, this one's actually continued to just bomb down. Again, it's something that you probably want to pick up if you don't have it already. Uh, it's it's pretty cheap at the moment, so something to consider. Uh, let's have a look. We've got Bran. Uh, so Bran, again, is continuing down. Interestingly, the Xyz is dropping as well. It's the main Ultras from the deck that are actually slowly creeping back up, the main monsters. Uh, however, I would I would advise that you get these now. Uh, if you haven't already, because these are probably going to go up. I can't see these staying down. At, I mean, what is it now? It started off at five euros. It's right the way down to three euros thirty. I can't see that personally staying the case. So something to consider picking up if you haven't already. Also on that one to watch list, we're going to cover another Plunder Patrol card because we're already deep in it. We might as well. Uh, so it started off at almost eight euros and it's tanked quite a bit. We're all the way down to four euros eighty. Uh, I, again, I see this going up. You can get it a solid three euros if you want it in English, uh, if you don't mind ordering from Spain. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I think it is going to go up again. Like the rest of Plunder Patrol cards, they're so cheap as well. There's not really a big punt on this. So if you get it and it's wrong, I don't really feel like you're going to lose anything. It's not going to get any lower than it is now. Uh, but there's a real chance that when new support comes out for this, even if it's bad, it will just get enough hype to lift the prices and then you can cash in on that. Uh, next, I wanted to move on to a little bit of something different. So Ignista Island, this card has been bombed uh so actually I've, been, I've pulled a few of these over the last few weeks i've actually had four boxes of this product now um and i think it was last week i, I was getting rid of them maybe two weeks ago they were going for like 26 pound ebay price uh but going on euros we're looking uh probably about 20 euros maxing out give or take uh but we have seen it absolutely drop in the in the space of two weeks all the way down right down to 12 euros uh probably close to about 10 pound for those of you who don't want to do the conversion uh which is insane like that's a, a massive bomb uh I, i'm not sure where i stand on this deck at the moment i'm not confident that it's going to do an awful lot however some people who are better at the game than i am seem to think it could do quite well does it need more, more support maybe maybe it'll be good next format uh if you are considering picking these up i'd probably wait a little bit longer because at, at the rate that they've been bombing uh, i think that they'll continue to go down you can maybe get them for about half the price that they are now if you wait just a little bit longer especially when the new master rule hits and people will sort of move away from this kind of play move on to something different you'll probably be able to get these a little bit cheaper next we move on to cross sheep so i finally pulled one today uh, in my first dead box after it's tanked a bit now, what I will say for this is, although the, the price of the unlimited printing has brought this down, I do feel that this is going to go up again. I think it'll be a little while before we see a reprint of this card in any capacity. People will want the first eds. Even the unlims, I think, will creep back up as well. Uh, is it a 15 euro, 15 dollar, 15 pound card, whatever? Probably not. But I do think we'll see it sit around the 10 region when this is all settled and done. It's going to be really, really important for the next format. People who haven't picked them up yet are going to be fighting to get hold of this card because they need it for their fusion summons, their fusion plays, all that kind of abuse, which we're going to see a lot of, I believe, in, in Master Rule 5. And uh, yeah, I think that we'll see this go back up. So now it's probably a good time to invest in these. I was quite fortunate that I got my actual original one. I got it for like three pound, which again is like four or five euros, something like that, which is nice and nice and cheap. Uh, I'm glad that I did because this has been insane. I do think it's going to go back up though. So if you don't already have it, now's probably a good chance. You could risk waiting a little bit longer and see if it drops a bit more. Uh, but personally, I think it's likely to go back up again. 
Next, we move on to Lightning Storm. Uh, I'm just looking at the secret rares here. So the, the prices have been a little bit all over the place. As you can imagine, they dropped a bit when the unlimited printing com came out. I do think that this will start to increase again uh, as the pull rates on these aren't great. And I'm sure that in the unlimited, they're even worse, right? Um, I've seen a lot of these boxes emptied and not so many of these pulled, to be honest. Again, it's anecdotal evidence. So for what that's worth, you can disregard it if you feel like. Uh, there's a reason that it's at the price that it is. Again, I see it probably not going any like much further down than it is now, unless you want an unlim, in which case, yeah, you'll probably get it a bit cheaper. Um, but it's safe from a reprint for now, so people who do have them, probably not the time to get rid of them. I would hold them. Again, it's just come out. It's probably going to be a while before we get another print. And it is a staple side deck card, I think, for most decks. Uh, we'd recommend, especially if you're going to any kind of like regional level, which... Again, a bit of a sore point at the moment since we don't have any. Uh, you may want to have cards like this in your repertoire. Maybe, maybe in the next couple of weeks if things continue to go badly for the market as they appear to be going... Uh, you can get these a little bit cheaper. Who knows? Uh, but again, they started off around the 90 euros mark. We saw the spike right up to about 100. Again, that was in pounds. That's what they were going for. Uh, again, eBay prices. Uh, and then we've seen them drop a little bit down to around the 90 euro mark. Um, again... I think you can get unlimited for a little bit cheaper. Probably worth getting if you're someone who wants to get these cards on a budget. But do realize that your long-term investment uh, is going to tank much, much quicker. It's going to be a lot harder to uh, get rid of when the card starts to lose value down the line. Next, we move on to Naxter. So, this was always going to happen. They announced a reprint of Cyber Emergency in uh, Dual Overload. And now we're seeing Cyber Dragon Naxter spiking up. Not really a surprise at all to anyone who understands how this works. Uh, it's had one print. Uh, it's, there's nothing else to really add to this. The card's incredibly important from the deck. And as we, we're seeing that in the price, really. It went from about €8. Euros. Um, I know when this first dropped, it was quite high. But these things always drop and settle after the hype dies down. However, we have seen it creeping all the way up towards the 10 mark. And as you've seen on this graph here, although we're having some spikes and some dips... The whole trend is upward, and that means that we're probably going to see this continuing to increase. People who want to pick it up for the new format, which to me is insane because I'm, I'm, I'm not sold that it's going to be fantastic next format, but feel free to prove me wrong. I'll be quite happy to see it continue to do something. However, uh, it does mean that there's going to be players out there who otherwise couldn't afford it with the cost of the cyber emergencies and that kind of thing. Now hunting these supply and demand basics, this card's going to continue to go up probably from here on. Next up, we have Barry Statue of the Stormwinds. This was a tip-off from Jam Jam Cards UK. You'll see I've got the shirt on here, and you'll see his uh, comments in the description. He's an eBay, uh, a friend of mine, a bit of a vendor. Bit of a vendor. Uh, that's all he bloody does. Anyway, so he mentioned to me that the barrier statue was actually creeping up. And it's quite interesting because I think this is getting used in in combination with the Apex uh, Infinite Negate thing. So what you do is you put this on board so they can't card you it unless they happen to have say the wind card you gadala uh interesting we haven't seen an increase in the price of that although you should have your card used by now uh but the barrier statue of the Stormwinds has been gradually i mean it's been a lot of yo-yo but it's picking up again uh in the last week or so i'm not sure it'll got much more than it is now so maybe now is the time to maybe trade these off or get some value out of them um it is the kind of card that would probably see some sort of reprint in an ots pack as well Next up, we have ABC. So, again, tip off. These have been selling like hotcakes. So, we've got the uh, Kyber version, which is the secret one. It's a slightly better value than the others. Uh, I think we've got the super up here as well. So, you can see from the structure deck. So, the super has a little bit more value, but it's 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 not really maintaining it. It's going all over the place. Whereas the secrets are gradually creeping up. Now, this could be down to Union Carrier and a few other cards that are coming about. Uh, I think ABC will probably see an improvement in play in the next format under the new Master Rule because, of course, they're not restricted to those zones. And that was one of the things that hindered the deck. They already had some issues with the fact that uh, Terraforming had been hit and it relies so heavily on that field spell to go off. Whereas I think that the new Master Rule gives them a little bit of a boost. And for people who want to play on a budget and have a consistent deck, ABC is fantastic. Uh, it looks really nice. It's tons and tons of fun to play. And we're seeing that in the fact that these cards are starting to disappear. I say disappear. They're going real fucking quick. And the price of that, of course, in kind, is gradually creeping up. It's an upward trend. Nothing too sharp. It's still only, what, three and a half euros? But I think we may see that go up towards the five mark. As a side note, we've also covered Union Hangar here. Again, this has also seen an increase. Uh, this is the Battles of Legend version, uh, so it's a nice, nice print. But that is gradually starting to go up. 
Um, don't be surprised if it continues to do so. We're seeing it creep up again from around one euro, uh, one and a half euros, all the way up to three euros. We're probably going to see a push to maybe four or five again, I think, um, in the new format because people try this deck out and experiment with it. It's a really nice cheap core. Now it's probably a good time to get it if you don't have it already. Uh, it looks fantastic uh, and it's cheap, but it may go up. Uh, we also cover here the OTS one. Uh, again, this is just yo-yoing all over the place. This is another one that tends to shoot up every now and again. I remember at one point these were like, uh, I think they were like £8, but again, this was before the reprint was done. Um, again, they might creep up a little bit. I think most people will prefer to go for the other print. Uh, and again, more of the same off the structure deck version. We then move on to Machine Dupe Ultimate Rares we're covering in particular here. These are just shooting up at the moment. Uh, so you can see €30... Euros well, back in December, I know that seems like a, a long time ago, but it's really not. Even if we look like, say, a month ago, 36 euros, we're now pushing all the way up towards 85. 85 euros for machine duplication. There's something going on here. I'm not really sure what it is. I've just, I was just told to scope this one out. We're seeing a huge spike here on the ulti machine dupes. So if you have them now, it's probably a good time to cash in on them. Um, if you don't have them yet, I'm sorry, but you're probably shit out of luck. Next, we're going to look at some dual overload changes. So, the prices are all over the place at the moment of this. Most of them are on a downward trend as is normal. You get that hype when the product's first announced or those pre-orders are out and people are uh, sort of gambling on that the, the card is going to get printed. They've heard some uh, whispers. They've seen some rumors. They've seen some leaked pictures here or there. That kind of stuff. You know the business. Um, it starts off high and it does dip. Now, I would say... One thing to consider here is it's whether you want to stick or twist. So this new set that's coming out, if all this stuff comes out and it's like super short printed, the prices will go up. However, there may be a small saving grace, and that is the effect of the coronavirus. The buzzword of this week, no doubt, uh, and will continue to be so for a little while. That is affecting hugely the prices on cards, more than people are probably giving it credit for, because there is no competitive scene at the moment. We are playing locals. So most people don't care enough to spend a lot of money when they know they're not going to be attending regionals, they're not going to be attending YCSs, they're not going to be attending potentially the likes of Euros and all of those kind of things, maybe Worlds even. Uh, so, so why invest in cards that <laughs> that are going to go low? So in fact, if anything, probably the logic is to invest. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but what's going to happen from what I'm kind of thinking here, and it may be some shit logic, but maybe I'm right too. The prices are dipping at the moment. Now is the time to pick them up because they are inevitably going to spike again when the events are go. You're probably going to see the first week of the product release, particularly with dual overload, the prices spike up again because the demand increases from players who basically don't pay attention or people stop buying boxes and people go, okay, the product's available now. So that will rise a little bit. However, we will probably see a dip again within a week or two. Obviously, there's a risk of you find something super short printed that the price goes up and stays up. But the chances are it's going to come back down probably for the next few weeks. So in the next two, three weeks is probably the right time frame to start picking this stuff up. If we get more delays on uh, competitive events and that kind of thing, then the prices are probably going to continue to go down. And it is definitely time to pick them up at that stage. Uh, if you haven't by then, you run the risk of it's going to shoot up and that you then they're just going to be priced out of the market. So we'll start off with Needle Fiber, uh, whatever the fuck it's called, Halkif Fibrax. I don't know what they were thinking with this, whatever. It started off towards the 60 euro mark, not even a month ago, two weeks ago. And we're bombing, bombing all the way down to 31 euros. I actually think this is a pretty good price. If, if someone turned around to me now and was like, you can have it, it's 30 euros, that's... That's a pretty good deal, right? Now, you can you can risk waiting a little bit longer, maybe getting it for like 20 or maybe 15 if you're really, really lucky. There's a good chance it's not going to go much lower than this, though. So now might be a good time to get it. If nothing else, because you know what? If it does drop a little bit, at least you've got the card. If it, if it spikes up, you're going to want to save that money. So uh, Christian Needle Fiber 1 to watch or Halka Fibrax, whatever the fuck they're calling this thing. Uh, we look at the Predator Plant. Now, this is the one that's interesting because this one's going slightly against the curve. We're actually starting to see this rising again. And I think it's because people are starting to see the importance of this card. It's slightly quite high. And it doesn't necessarily have the same hype factor as Needle Fiber because Needle Fiber is like one of those... Uh, format defining cards if you want to say it changes the way the whole game is played and as such this kind of thing's maybe gone a little bit under the radar 
But the people who know know that this card is potentially going to be insane. Uh, and as such, the price is starting to creep up again. A little bit like Cross Sheep, I think it's going to go on the rise. Going into the new format, this is going to be incredibly important. It's probably not going to be over the next couple of weeks because we're not going to really see the benefit of it as much. But in the new Master Rule, believe me, you're going to want to have a copy of this card. Now is possibly the time to just bite the bullet and get it before we potentially see it rise back up towards the 20 euro mark it did come in at about 26 not even two weeks ago bombed at its lowest down to about 15 it is creeping back up towards the 18 mark be aware now might be the time to bite the bullet on this one we then have union carrier another card that's been talked about it is gradually on the decline personally i think we're going to see this one go back up as well so now might be a good time to get your pre-orders on this especially where they're cheap uh maybe you want to look on ebay or whatever who knows whatever you want to do get these done get them out of the way these are the kind of cards that have the risk factor as well we know that they've got a lot of potential so even if they're not expensive now give it a couple of weeks and these things could be insanely high give it a couple of months and it may be even worse we then move on to Imperm. I'm comparing a few of the different ones here because it's one of the reprint cards along with Phantasme, which we'll cover in a moment as well. Uh, we have seen this absolutely tank in value. Now, the question is whether you stick or twist on this one. Again, it is down to, towards the 15 euro mark, which is a pretty reasonable price. However, it now is also one of those cards. It's a little bit of risk of getting more and more reprints. We've seen it reprinted. This is the third time now. We're probably going to see some sort of super print soon or maybe even a common in the structure deck in the next year something to consider however i personally feel the 15 euros for an infinite impermanence is pretty good now if you go and look at its uh cousins from the other sets over here we're seeing the dual power one has tanked again probably because of the announcement of this ultra as well so it's the match in print however i do believe that this will go up a tiny bit again because it was like the first ultra print some people care about that sort of shit i think this will go up slightly uh, as is always the case that the later and later sets tend to drop the value especially if they're the same print uh but then if we look at the secrets on the other hand these are gradually creeping a little bit back up so they did tank of course again around the time of the next reprint being found out down to about 25 euros which is insane Right the way back up to 36, and now we are creeping back up towards the 45 mark. I think that this is probably going to settle about 50 again. People want them original secret prints, uh, first eds, in good condition, just for the flex. Unless you see some sort of ulti come out, this card is going to stay expensive for a while. I probably don't think even in a year's time it's going to drop below 30, 35. Next up, we have Phantasme. So we're looking at the dual overload one. This is, a, this is a big case of tanking. You see 25 euros on initial uh, sort of announcement people found out. We saw it go dip a little bit, back up, and it's all the way down now to 16 euros. Probably about 15 pounds, give or take. Uh, it's a pretty good price for me. Now, one thing I would consider with this is that it's not necessarily going to be the best card in the new format. A lot of people are going to be experimenting outside of the link mechanic. However, the link mechanic is not going away. Please don't believe that it's going away. It isn't. It is here to stay. And uh, as such, this will still offer a lot of value in that sense. However, it will offer less value than we're seeing now. I think it's a card to pick up probably i think it's going to go down still it's probably going to head down towards the 10 mark i think once the initial demand and rush comes out we're going to see this drop in even further however its cousin the secret version interestingly is yo-yoing a little bit around right around the 40 to 50 mark we see it spike up to about 50 again only a few days ago and now we're back down towards the 40 mark again i think this will settle much like in permanence people want those nice crisp original prints not the cheaper options Okay, guys, that is it for my first attempt at a market watch. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Went a little bit longer than I thought it would. Maybe I was thinking about five minutes or so less, but who cares? We had a lot to cover. And of course, again, we wanted to talk about the coronavirus because who doesn't want to talk about that shit? Whatever. Anyway, so again, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have really enjoyed it, please let me know because I'm kind of keen to keep doing these if the demand is there. Hopefully there is. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I've put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.